Uh, welcome to part two of a two-part series. I've just been talking about the harmonics of the pyramid and how it relates to the octavization of the physical world. Um, so octaves, as you know, in music is a completion of the eighth note that repeats itself. So octaves take us to a like another level or another dimension of existence. So it, there's an amazing connection. We just showed how the apex angle of the pyramid, 38 point two degrees has a direct harmonic link to the side of an octagon which is 0.382 so in part two i want to explain a bit about harmonic maths is that how can a decimal 0.382 have a harmonic relationship to the angle in the Kepler's triangle of 38.2 degrees so i'll explain that and we're going to um talk a little bit about bruce caffey's work so um so, so to, to understand what's going on, we were looking at the pyramid and we know that the pyramid had an angle. We know that the pyramid had an angle of 51, the pyra, which means fire, pyra, it had an angle of 51 degrees and 51 minutes. And some people are calling this harmonic 5151. But th this subject here is quite critical. It's, it's, it's got a lot to do with the earth grid and how we cannot just travel around the earth without fuel, but just by following the ley lines around the planet, but how we can tap into planetary travel as well. So this is all based on the subdued work of Bruce Cathy. So Bruce Cathy wrote this book. There's four books I'm going to show you. Harmonic 33 was his first book. And this, this is showing how they discovered an antenna an antenna under the ground on one of the octahedral points of the planet that was submerged thousands of feet down in the ocean. Um, that's first book. Second book is The Bridge to Infinity by Bruce Cathy, New Zealand pilot um, who first observed UFO activity and he plotted them on a sphere. And then he wrote The Harmonic Conquest of Space. And then the final one that I'm talking to now is we want to look at harmonic. Where does this harmonic 695 come from? So this is called the Energy Grid Harmonic 695. He's calling it the pulse of the universe. So this is all about harmonic maths, which is not taught at schools. And I, I believe it's the key to all the future sciences. And all it is is moving a decimal point to the left or to the right, to the micro and the macro. It's connecting the galactic to the atomic. So it, the, the image that it creates is the torus. So let's have a look at this. So from part one, we saw that the pyramid had a base angle of 51 degrees and 51 minutes. And we go into, as a decimal, 51 degrees and 51 minutes is 51 over 60. So the 51 over 60 minutes decimalized is 0.84 here. And we're going to divide the pyramid angle into the circle of everything, which is 360 degrees. So why... So why did the ancient people choose 360 degrees? Um, we know that, for example, when Napoleon won the war in France, he decided to quadrate the circle, quarters, and they said, look, why don't we just divide this quadrant here, make it easy, into 100. So a couple of hundred years ago, they said, oh, the circle has four lots of 100. We could divide the circle into 400, but it doesn't fit harmonic maths. The number 36 is really interesting because it's six squared and when we look at um if you have a coin there's like one two three four five six when we hit six around the one we reach a state of perfected order there's something very special about six because when we what we learned at school was that there was five thousand two hundred and eighty feet in a mile but really, that, that's just a new thing. Even though it's the imperial system, base 12, the original way of measuring the Earth grid was called nautical miles. So that's called NM. And they had 6,000. So 6,000 nautical miles is the key to measuring the structure of the Earth and the distances of the planets from the sun. So in harmonic maths, we're allowed to cut off the zeros and say that, well, 6,000 is a harmonic of the number 6. This is the thing you have to accept. If you can't accept that 6,000 relates to 6, then you can't proceed. But I'm letting you know that this is the real galactic maths. It's the th three-dimensional spherical maths of the Earth, which is leading us to 
not just a satellite age, but an age where the technology is ecosophically corrected and in rhythm with, with the pulse of the universe. So we want to, so often in our research, we always convert things back to nautical miles. That's all going back to six. So the reason why they chose 36 is that 360 is divisible by one, by two, by three, by four, by five and six. It's one of those numbers where all the factors easily divide into 360. We know that the number seven, but you know that when you divide seven into 360, you get that pyramid angle, 51 degrees. If you, um, if you divide seven into 360, you get an approximation to the angle in pyramid. And that's another whole subject on why seven is important, in, like as all numbers are. So what we want to establish is that we know that 360 is the chosen way of um, dividing the circle. And we're going to divide 51.84 into 360 degrees. So what I'll do is I'll just get my calculator here. Um, do the password. Here's the, um, here's, so we're going to divide 360. Um, so 360. Oh, we'll start again. Let's start again. So three, well, that's interesting, 369, that was subconscious. So 360 divided by 51.84, 51.84, what's the answer? 6.944444, we call it 6.94 repeater. So you can see that I've written it up here. So that's the... Um, 6.9444 so what we can do is we can take off all those fours and we put a dot above there and we say 6.94 repeater but bruce kathy decided he noticed that this number on the earth grid when he followed the tracking of all the identified ufo pathways he noticed that this ratio 6.944 kept coming up and did you know that this is tesla's antenna so when tesla rang his car the first car with no fuel he was just using the ether using utilizing the energy of the cosmos he had an antenna at 6.94 feet um so you know that this is a harmonic now why is this an important number well first of all we ran um so 69444 got rounded off to 695 because we're allowed to move the decimal one twice and we end up with 695. So we're trying to say that 695 is a harmonic of 6.94. They're all related. So that's called harmonic 695. So where did that come from? So we know that the speed of light, so this is about light consciousness. We know in terms of nautical miles in grid seconds, it travels at 144,000 nautical miles per grid second. But we want to take the opposite of that. So what's the opposite of light? We could call it gravity or the matter constant. So 1 divided by 144 is we're going to call it the gravity constant. So let's have a quick look at that. So the reciprocal of light speed is 1 divided by 144. Let's see what we get equals point. 00694444. So I'm going to write that down. So the gravity constant, according to Bruce Caffey, is the reciprocal of light. You can see that one, they're polar opposites, they're complementary. So we end up with 0 0.006944. And so in harmonic maths, we're allowed to move the decimal point one, two, three, and we end up back to the 6.94 that connected the harmonics of the pyramid to the circle so this is all about unity consciousness and also the harmonic of the circle because the circle is the life and when we index all our geometries and inventions when we build our homes based on this sacred knowledge it means we're in tune because this is like a highly tuned instrument and it's our legacy from our ancestors who are telling us to work with this harmonic math so the, the 108 Academy is all about taking this esoteric knowledge and bringing it down to the level of a child so that they can understand that when we work in harmony with nature, we create more beautiful designs.